Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I have another US haul for you. This time it is clothing. I'm actually going to split my US clothing hauls into two because I bought a lot of stuff and I just thought it would make for a slightly shorter video, although I'm sure they're both going to be quite long. I also decided to change up the background a bit just so you guys can get a different angle of my bedroom. I don't know. I will insert clips of me trying on the clothes as well so you can see them a little bit better because me just going like this is going to make it quite difficult for you guys to get the full effect. So today's video I'm going to be mainly including some work clothing that I picked up. I uh, picked these up at the outlets and then I've also just picked some other random stores and I'm including all the clothes that I bought from that particular store and then my second haul will include more casual clothes and again just clothes from other stores that I shopped at while I was in the US. So without further ado, let's get started. The first shop I went into while shopping at the Citadel outlets and probably the first thing that I purchased outside of Disneyland was clothing from Ann Taylor. I had never shopped in Ann Taylor, never really been interested, but I found some really cute things. One of them is the dress that you saw me just starting to show you before. This is just a nice navy blue and white stripe. It's fitted, but not too fitted. It is a nice length that goes sort of towards the knee and then has this little detail in the center here. It cinches in at the waist, even though it is stripy, which can make you look quite wide. I think these side panels here give you a nice sort of cinching in and give you a nice curvy figure. And it, I just like the way it sits on me. Perfect for work in both summer and winter time. Since there, most of the clothes over there were spring and summer themed, I did notice quite a common shade theme which was chartreuse, navy blue and white. This skirt in particular caught my eye. It was on the mannequin in Ann Taylor. It's a nice kind of fitted skirt. It has the chartreuse, navy blue and white stripes. It does have a zipper at the back. It's good quality material and then it hits about mid thigh, sort of slightly under, just above the knee. I thought this was really nice and it looked really pretty paired with this particular top here. However, the top that they had it with was in the chartreuse color. This came in a whole heap of different colors, but I couldn't get my size in the chartreuse. So I decided to get it in the navy because I think it goes well with the skirt as well. It has just a pocket detail on the front and is quite long and it can be worn tucked in, which I think looks nice for work, but then you can untuck it as well and it kind of, if you hitch the skirt up a little bit, it just looks really like casual. So if I was going out after work and wanted to sort of casual down my look, I could wear that as well. So these two paired together look really, really nice. But then I also really loved this chartreuse sort of citron color. So I decided to pick it up in this peplum top again from Ann Taylor. I have never been into peplum, but I just like the way that this one fitted and it seemed to suit me quite well. I wish I had picked up more. And again, I can wear it with this skirt paired together and it looks really, really nice. But then I can also wear all three items separately as well. So the other things that I picked up at Ann Taylor, most of them were priced kind of around Portman's pricing, maybe a little bit more expensive looking at kind of like Jackie E-esque type pricing here, but most of them were discounted and then discounted again, which made them really affordable. Like I think the dress was at $100 and it came down under. Most of those, the skirt and the top were around $40 or $50 or $60 ticketed, but then again came down and they made them quite affordable. Speaking of affordable, I did stop in an Armani exchange and managed to pick up this really nice kind of, I don't know if it's silk, I think it might be silk shirt here. This had been ticketed down and ticketed down and ticketed down until it was $19. $19 for Armani Exchange, just amazing. I really like this. Again, I can wear it for work or I could wear it over jeans and have it really casual as well. Another place I hadn't planned on shopping but ended up buying quite a bit from was Banana Republic, again at the outlet. So they had things that were ticketed down and then everything was pretty much 50% off. So it came to really good prices. First thing I have here is actually this little jacket and skirt. I guess you could almost call it a suit. I'm never matchy-matchy at work, but I just fell in love with this particular print. I actually fell in love with the skirt, but realized I really didn't have anything that would go with it, so I decided to get the jacket as well. It ended up fitting really, really nicely. Again, it's just like a short-ish kind of fitted skirt. It looks very kind of old-fashioned, but in again, if that makes sense. I kind of just wear this with a white top. And then, of course, it has the blazer jacket to match. Just has some nice button details and pockets and kind of like a turned up collar there. It looks actually really quite smart together and I was really happy with that purchase. 
Also from Banana Republic, I picked up this skirt. I actually picked it up for my mum because if you work in an office, you know that you really just need a basic black skirt. You don't necessarily need it to be high-waisted. You don't want it to be a tube skirt. You don't want it to be too long. You just want a basic black, comfortable skirt. And my mum has been looking for one. I have one that I got from Target years ago and I've worn it to death and my mum's never been able to find one similar. We came across this one. As you can see, it's not going to look like much on screen. It's just a nice fitted kind of office skirt, comfortable, not too tight, not too revealing, not too short, not too long. And my mum tried it on, loved it, and I tried it on as well and decided to go back and grab one for me. Something that we've managed to find just randomly in Banana Republic was this sweater here. It's just grey with this bright kind of coral orange. Sorry, I was making up a new colour called Corange. It's coral orange, get it? I really can't speak today. I'm having terrible troubles. I apologise, but I just fell in love with it. It's just three quarter sleeves and I thought that would be really cute, especially since we are going into autumn winter here. And the last thing I picked up from Banana Republic was kind of a random purchase and I'm still kind of unsure about it. Again, another winter type item. It's this material, I call this almost like tracksuit pant material, kind of skirt, but so it has, it's grey with white polka dots. I thought this would be quite cute with like black tights and boots and just like a slouchy cardigan or something like that. Still I'm not 100% sure, but for some reason I just, I fell in love with it. It wasn't too expensive. And again, it was 50% off on top of that. So I decided to pick it up and hopefully I'll get to style it and play around with it this winter. We stumbled across a store called maxstudio.com and I'd never heard of it before, but then later on in the trip when we were actually at Santa Monica in Third Street Promenade, we saw the actual store. This is the stuff we picked up at the outlets. They were having quite good sales and on top of that, for every $100 you spent, you got $25 off. Picked up a few random bits and pieces. One of them is this skirt here. It's kind of like a high-waisted skater skirt or just like circle skirt. It's quite loose and flowy but it sits quite nicely and on me that is really good because I find that a lot of skater skirts flare out they just don't sit right on me it has a nice stretchy waist and this nice kind of knit detail so it's not just plain jersey or anything like that really comfortable and I've actually managed to wear it to work as well with stockings and a blazer and a top it seems to look quite nice and can be dressed up or dressed down another shirt that seems to be a mixture of both work and casual is this top here just looks like a plain kind of button-up shirt. It has really nice color and this kind of cuff detail on the side. But what I like about it is these panels on the side here that are made out of this kind of stretch material. It's slightly different to the rest of the material. You can kind of see the seam there. And this helps it sit really nicely. It makes it a little bit more fitted so it comes in at the sides rather than sitting really boxy, which can happen with these type of shirts if they're just the same material. It has nice buttons and things. And again, like I said, work with a skirt and a blazer or casual with jeans or shorts have a nice fitted it's not really a bodycon skirt I guess it kind of is again from Max Studio but it's not too tight so I can actually wear it to work with stockings again if the blazer blazers dress things up and I don't really need to be completely corporate unless I'm meeting with external clients so this skirt here again and it can also be casual I love it it's pinstripe but it's not it's black and gray rather than black and white so it's not too it doesn't make you look too wide or anything like that while we're on the winter trend see we ended up buying quite a bit from this store we found this winter dress it's here with some like knit type material the sleeves are quite long so I'm actually gonna have these taken up but it was quite inexpensive and I just really liked the idea again stocking boots it's, it's kind of a, a common theme for me in winter again you can put like a, a shrug or something over it and I thought that would look really fun and be nice and cozy but still girly for the winter time and then the last thing from Max Studios is this maxi skirt here I probably won't get a lot of wear out of it until the summer months but I really liked the pattern of this. Again, we've got this chartreuse navy blue and white or kind of cream style going on. But as you can see, it's just like a stretch waist and it has this sort of seam detail that goes all the way down. It's cut on the bias, so it's really, really flattering and makes you look really long and statuesque. Keeping to the whole theme of bargains, there were many bargains to be had on some high-end brands at the outlet. One of them was Guess. I mean, Guess in America is really, really inexpensive in comparison to Australia. I picked up a few pairs of clothing that I never even thought to look at Guess clothing before. The first thing is these shorts here. They're just navy blue with like a light pinstripe shorts. They're not really high-waisted. They do go up a little bit. I love the button details, but they fit really nicely. And I've probably paid the same amount, if not less, than the same kind of shorts that I'd buy here in cotton on. So, the guess. 
it's just I couldn't pass up that bargain I wore them while I was there again we're going into autumn winter so not super practical for now but come summer I'll be wearing them non-stop the other thing that I picked up was some guest jeans again really inexpensive and they fit really well I just got a dark navy blue kind of wash with a little bit of sort of distressed look at the top here these will sort of fade out a bit more they are that kind of um, material that fades and leaves blue color everywhere but they fit really nicely and again they were guess and they were cheaper than other jeans that I've got like from Target crazy 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 and then the last thing that I grabbed from guess was this jacket I kind of fell in love with it instantly it's just this kind of mild gray look with a tie-up waist. Again, it has kind of like a bikey esque style because it has a zipper front, but I just fell in love with it. It was really warm, really cozy, and came in handy because I didn't really take many jackets with me because I thought it'd be quite warm, but the nights were quite cool, so I used this a fair bit while I was there. Moving away from the outlets, there were still some really good deals to be found at other stores. There was a Ross really close to our hotel while we were staying in Beverly Hills, and I managed to find these just Calvin Klein they're just like black workout pants, little tights that these kind of things, again, something that I'd buy from Cotton on Body here in Australia, but they were Calvin Klein and they were like $15, really nice quality, comfortable. They just have the little Calvin Klein on the top there. They're three quarter length and then they have this kind of ruched detailing right on the like end there that kind of sits on your calf muscles. They look really cute and they're comfortable and they were $15. So I thought that was a bargain for really nice basic. And then the last place that I'm going to talk about for this particular haul is H&M. The first thing that I want to show you is actually the dress that I'm wearing here. It's a really nice like polka dot style dress. It is fitted but it is not too tight and I actually wear it to work. I wear it with a black blazer over the top, some black stockings and then my work heels and it looks really comfy and young but still is dressy enough for work. And then also while I was at H&M, I managed to pick up quite a few, or some, some basics. The first thing that I fell in love with were these singlet tops here. They're a nice singlet top that can be worn by itself or under things. I like being able to layer, and I find that most of the, the tops that I find to wear underneath things are the really tight fitted ones. And I mean, it shows every lump and roll, and I wanted something that was loose but still fitted enough to be worn under things. These were $9.95 each. Their basics at H&M were really inexpensive so I got one in black and I also got one in white because they've just come in handy so much. I also got a basic black kind of singlet top this time without the shoestring straps. This one is a little bit more fitted and they had two for ten so I got one and my mum got one as well because I use these a lot. Sometimes I wear them to work out in but it's usually again for layering or underneath things. Sticking on the basics train, I grabbed a basic grey t-shirt. I really like this. I like basic grey t-shirts because you can wear them over the jeans with a blazer and you can make, look, have that really cool casual but chic look. And then you can also just wear them with shorts in summer when you want to be casual and comfy. So this one, just grey, it has little sort of turned up sleeves and a little pocket detail on the front there. And then the last thing that I grabbed was another kind of singlet top. This one was a little bit more dressy. It was a bit more of a, like a shiny more dressy material. This is from their H&M Conscious range. It was just a really nice orange shade. This one was $14.95. I thought this would just look nice over jeans or a little skirt or something like that when I want to be a little bit more dressy to go out to dinner or something like that. So they are all the fashion bits and pieces that I want to show you for this part one clothing haul from the US. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you'd like to see these clothes in more outfit of the days or how I style them, I haven't done a lot of fashion videos in quite a while, but I could potentially get back into them if it's something that you would want to see. Definitely let me know in the comments below, especially if there's a particular item that you want to see styled. And other than that, I'll talk to you guys all later. Check out the description box. Also, for a whole heap of links to all my other USA holiday hauls, there's been a ton of them, I know, and there's probably still more to come. I have no idea what order these are going to go up in, but lots of USA holiday hauls. A playlist will be there for your convenience. I hope you guys are all having a really great day, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>